Welcome to my channel everybody. This is Walmart driver Crespo. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, if you have any questions about Walmart driving, always you can email me at crespo trucking76 at gmail.com. Alright, if you want to use my referral code, it's right there on the screen. 65480. Hope to hear from you guys. I hope you guys like the video and thank you for watching. What is going on everyone? How's it going on? Hope everybody's doing well. As you can tell, I'm home. I'm on my three days off after a week of um, The Rock or The Planners. We had a low cancel and it just messed everything up. So, but anyways, it was a great week. We were home early. Um, the day was supposed to be home, but we were home before noon. So, uh, right about noon. So, it was good. Um, today, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I'm almost at a 1,000 subscribers. I'm only like 117 subscribers away. I would like to get to a 1,000 so I could do more lives. Well, so I could do any lives. I can't do lives on my phone um, until I have 1,000 subscribers. So, if you're watching, please um like share please subscribe ring the bell um i would like to get to a thousand um the ones that i've been watching thank you for watching i appreciate it but um yeah so this week i wanted to talk about things i forgot about when i was an owner operator that I now i have to deal with at walmart so now before so I was an operator at the previous company. I was able to go home whenever I wanted to and forever long, how, however long I wanted to. Because, you know, when you're paying for the truck, they don't care. You know, you, they, they give you that flexibility of you um, choosing when you want to work and when you don't want to work. So um, here at Walmart, uh, we just got our, a couple, of, uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, we got our vacation request sheets okay and you put in what days you want off and then they need to be approved so from my understanding 20 drivers a day could be out um and it goes by seniority so if 20 drivers before me want the same days that i want off i can't have them off or I'll, you know, I'm, 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 they don't get approved. So that's one thing that um, I'm gonna, I miss the freedom of having the days off that you want. Um, I get seniority, you know, you've done your time, you paid your dues, you get first shape, first choice. So I get it, I understand it. I'm gonna have to live with it as, as I get seniority, I'll be able to be more. It'll be better for me to um, get the days that I really want off. Um, but luckily, I got Thanksgiving day off. Normally, on my schedule, day off. Christmas and New Year's are also off on my regular days off. So I don't have to ask for those days off. But I have a special date coming that I want off in June. And I got to wait till May to see if it was approved. Okay. I already got plane tickets. I already have all that stuff. So hopefully it's approved. Um, you know, that's, and to do it in April or May, it's kind of weird because it limits the, the chances of us being able to get request days off because do I gotta wait till May of next year to select the days off that I want? I don't know, it just seems weird. And that's the only thing I, this, Things you gotta get adjusted to when you come into Walmart if you were a lease operator at another company. If you were a company driver elsewhere, then you know it's nothing new to you. You you understand how the process is. And that's the only thing I'm getting used to. Okay? Um, you don't have that freedom that you have as an owner operator to do what you want, when you want, however you want it. Without having to ask for permission. But I mean, everything else is great, you know, like I'm home weekly, 
you know, I was sitting outside in the yard. I could hear the kids walking around. I could hear couples walking their dogs. I guess like, the birds are chirping, like planes, car, like just feel like, damn, I'm home. Like, I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. And money wise, it's good. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, like after all is said and done, it's about the same. After taxes, after health insurance, after all my deductions, um, it's about the same. So I'm happy with it. I'm home more often, pay my bills, got a little, you know, I got some money extra after paying all my bills. That's all I care about. And I'm home. I enjoy time with the family, with the wife, the kids. Well, the wife and the kids are in Massachusetts right now. Uh, they're on vacation. I didn't go because I really need the week of June off. And like I said, I can't just get up and go like I used to. So that's the only thing. But you get 23 days, 21 to 20. Well, you get 21 days of PTO days a year. Plus you get an extra day of PTO, which is a safety day. You get four of those a year if you're a safe driver. So in reality, you get about 25 days off paid days off, not just um, like before I could take whatever time off, but I wasn't getting paid. So yeah, but that's that. That's about getting paid. I, um, I'm really liking it here. If you guys want to, I'm wondering how I feel about Walmart. It's the best thing that is the best decision I've made in a while. I mean, the previous company was good. Got me the experience, got me the, the experience that I needed, you know, like you need the experience, but it's not just the experience. You got to put in from, you know, you got to do your part. You got to be a safe driver. You got to be on, on time. You got to be, um, you know, you got to be willing to drive at any scheduled time. You know, um, when you're solo driving out on the road, you get, you have to drive whatever the loads say and, um, and hustle. So, if you do your time and you do it right, um, you will be fine a couple of years after, no matter where you go. Like, um, at times, my previous company, I would think that I wouldn't be able to live if I didn't work there. You know, it, they, you almost get brainwashed into like, this is it. Like, you can't lift this. Like, if you live here, your, your life's going to suck and blah, 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 blah. And man, let me tell you, I was so worried at first because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do my thing. There's no way I'm going to be happy. There's no way like I'm going to have money and blah, 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 blah. And now I'm like, fuck, I should have left a long time ago. I'm happy as hell. And, um, and being home. So Walmart's good. Just, you know, little things like the vacation time, but I do have a plane ticket already bought and I already let them know about it. So hopefully that helps me out. Um, I do have enough PTO to be able to go on vacation and still get paid while I'm on vacation. Whereas before, um, you would come out of home time and if you didn't save any money, you would be negative. And, um, so now I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm home. I do. I do wish I could be home more. Well, that's six days, six days out. It's it's good. It's good. But guys, if you need a, if you have a question or you want me to talk about a special subject or something about Walmart, please leave it in the comments or email me. If you've applied at Walmart and you use my driver code, please let me know. Email me on the Crespo Trucking 76 at Gmail. Um, when I go back in the office, I could check the status on it. Um, I'll ask the human resource lady and she'll find out for me. And, um, you know, anything I could do to help you guys come here because it's really good. It's really good. It's easy trucking. It's just, it's trucking without the stress and it's hard to explain it guys, but it's trucking without the stress. Like it's good. So but anyways, I gotta let you guys go. It's just a quick video about the things I 
have to get used to here at Walmart about requesting vacation. And um, it was supposed to be a quick video, but now I'm on about 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So, but anyways, guys, be good, be safe, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Keep your license clean, guys. That's the key to success in trucking. Your license has to be clean. No tickets, no accidents. Get out and look. Be patient. Do it slow. You know, if you hit something slow, it might not be as big as if you're rushing into things. So, um, yeah. Be good. Be safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Peace out. Enjoy life. Enjoy trucking. Be safe. And keep your license clean. Peace out.